What's up guys, Dalmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Habitual Line Crosser video, and this one is long, uh, at least long for a Habitual Line Crosser video. Uh, it's five minutes, I think the longest one we've reacted to before this is like two and a half maybe. Uh, I know he does have some like longer full length videos, I've been asked to react to some, uh, some of those, we'll get to them once we're caught up on the shorts. Um, but yeah, this is the motion in the ocean, or the motion of the ocean, sorry. Uh, I'm thinking of the, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the, the slang term, I guess. But anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Hey, Hamas, how about you put on uniforms and come at me? Instead of hiding behind women and children and telling everybody I'm war criminal. How about no? Pardon me, but for a second here. Uh, I know we're all showing solidarity with Israel in this, but United States, did you just send a second carrier group <laughs> in there? Yeah. I did. Oh wait, do you think two's not enough? I have like nine more. <laughs> I, I don't believe it's a problem, so they have 13, per se, but there's nine more available. I just want to know why you've sent two carriers towards an enemy that has no carriers and no aircraft aside from paragliders because overkill's underrated. Look, very re and honestly true. The one of the best things you can do in the military is just a show of force. You just show up there and have more than they can ever deal with, and a lot of the time they'll fall in line. And that goes back like to ancient times. Right? Show of force worked in ancient times, too. The Mongols got a lot of people to surrender just by showing up. And then people are just like, yeah, fuck this, we surrender. Recently, Iraq, Iran, and Syria decided that they were going to get froggy, so I decided to send two of the largest pee-pee slaps floating on the ocean <laughs> to their front door. Talk shit about me behind my back all you want to, but I will knock on your door and ask you what the fuck you want. These, these fields... It tastes like Article 5. No civilization <laughs> has attacked NATO. Therefore, not Article 5. It is individual organization. You are very, very slimy. You know, I gotta hand it to him. It's pretty ingenious. I can't be mad at the guy. He pumps a whole bunch of money into Hezbollah and Hamas. Hezbollah being his favorite child, Hamas being the second favorite. <laughs> and then they attack sovereign nations, and we retaliate, and they hide within the borders of his friends' countries and threaten war if we attack them inside of their own countries. Uh, now you're starting to understand why there's two carriers over there, because I'm about to start bodying people. You are the terrorist <laughs> American! You are the one attacking women and children here who are trying to be safe. You know, you're absolutely right. Man, the most insane thing to me is that, like, people in the West buy that, right? Like, obviously, they're going to try and play that off, right? They're going to try and use their propaganda. But the thing that blows my mind is Hamas attacked Israel. And people act like Israel's invading them, right? Like, Israel started the war, right? And the people the people will be like, oh, they, they did start it in 1948. It's like, they've had how many ceasefires since then? Temporary ceasefires? And yet it always just flares up again, and it's it's not Israel initiating it. Right, you should put on a uniform, tell us where you're going to be, and meet us on the field of battle, and we'll go fisticuffs and deal with this like men. Or is that not is that not something you're capable of doing because you know you'll get your shit rocked? Here's what you need to understand there, high speed. War doesn't determine who's right. War determines who's left. <laughs> There's a reason I'm still standing after over 200 years. You see, back in September 11, 2001... Somebody decided to take down a couple of my buildings, and I lost almost 3,000 Americans. Well, I then spent 20 years in their country, and I lost less people fighting in that country for 20 years than I did in that one day. How many did they lose? Who the fuck? <laughs> I don't think I've seen them in this mad like ever. You will not fear the Americans. They must not teach like a 20-year period of Iraqi history. 1991, me and 40 other nations bodied you in 100 hours. In 2003, <laughs> we bodied you in one month, one week, and one day across your entire country. I'm going to see if I can break that record. <laughs> the world is standing up to NATO aggression. Yeah, you personally are standing up about as good as Stephen Hawking. Not the brain <laughs> part, the body part. Uh, didn't you just lose like four digits worth of armored vehicles in your most recent counter, 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 counter offensive or something? <laughs> no, my, my recent counter offensive was effective and I've taken land from, oh, hold on, hold on, I forgot, I forgot, I just, I haven't given a shit about your opinion since, uh, I said, yeah, I carry the one, uh, that was Gorbachev right there, and then, uh, fucking ever, I haven't given <laughs> a shit about your goddamn opinion. Uh, also, I've given about between 5 to 10% of my military capability to Ukraine, and they've bodied around 50% of yours, so that sounds like well <laughs> spent in my book. I love how U.S. is just going off on everyone in this. It's just going off hard. <laughs> it is kind of crazy how, how shit is getting internationally, though. Like, obviously, there's always international conflicts, 
boiling over, right? Nations are always disagreeing with each other. But it really does feel like the past six months to a year or so, shit internationally has really been hitting the fan, right? Obviously, the Ukraine-Russia thing has been going on for a while now. But then you have, like, the whole thing with the Houthis and the Israel-Hamas situation. And now, I, I believe Iran and Pakistan are getting into beef with each other. And then Iran was, like, doing shit with the states and fucking... It, it's just international... The Middle East has always been a shit show, but, like... It's, like, extra shit showy the last year. Anyways, moving on. Carriers. Hey. What's going on, man? The <laughs> fucking Cheech and Chong. You went with Tommy Chong. For the most advanced... <laughs> Largest aircraft carrier ever built. Hey, leave me alone. I'm feeling out the character. This one didn't just come to me one day. I get it, man. We're just all out here, like, going with the motions. <laughs> the motion of the ocean. That is your justification. <laughs> you know the Navy's not going to like that. Look, man, give me a break. I can only do so many voices. And as I was reading about all of my other characters, they all kind of just came to me. For example, the kid. Would you intercept me? <laughs> I actually, I do want to know, like, the thought process behind, like, why the 22 is just so unhinged. Intercept me. The most devastating thing in the air that has ever been built, and it has never had an opportunity to do its job because everyone is afraid of it. Had to go with Buffalo Bill. The A-10. <coughs> to whom it may concern. At 75 rounds a second. Total crackhead energy. They started with a gun, and then it became a plane. The F-16. Hard to catch, harder to hit. Slimy, yet satisfying. <laughs> the workhorse of the American export fleet. Everybody has one. They're quick, they're agile, they're easy to find parts for. They're a Glock 19 with wings. Then the F-15. 104 and 0, look out below. Can't everybody take down a satellite unless you got my thrust to weight ratio. <laughs> the last time I took Russia seriously, I built that thing. He knows he's the shit. He knows he's untouchable. He knows that the only thing in the sky that could potentially harm him is the F-22 and he's on the same team. So then we got the F-35. Aw, oh, darn it. Way to put me on the spot here. Can you give me, like, the X-Men theme song and I can, like, think about stuff really hard like Professor X? The 90s one. Can I get that? The F-35. Man, the, the 90s fucking X-Men. The 90s X-Men, the, like, 90s Justice League. I think well, I guess it was, like, 90s, 2000s. They had so many good, like, super... I don't... I guess it's probably just because I'm older now, but, like... The fucking cartoons from the 90s, the superhero cartoons were fucking peak. The Spider-Man, the X-Men... The Batman, the Justice League, the fucking Justice League Unlimited, which was basically just Teen Titans. Fucking, what else was there back then? Static Shock. So many, like, the 90s and 2000s superhero cartoons were just peak. Five is the most widely produced 5th gen aircraft in the world. And it's also the most exported 5th gen aircraft in the world. We started with a computer, ended up with an aircraft. <laughs> yeah, man. I love the, the first half of that was fucking gold, where it's just the states going off on everyone. But, yeah, that, that is definitely the longest video we've done of his so far. I wonder if that's the longest one he's done of, like, the... I don't even know if you can consider that a short, but of, like, the sort of shorts? I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.